We, the angels of Atlantis, bring you much love, sweet love, joyous love, glorious love, triumphant love. For where we exist within the inner folds of creation, within the mind of the Mother Father God, there is only boundless love, which creates the unity of the only premise that truly matters, that there exists the inclusive vibrational field of love, which you have poured out of and now we are returning to. We are here with the express intention to support you, to orientate you, to startle you into the poetry of your heart, which is the seat of the soul, and which now is burgeoning, pulsing, breathing the triumph of all of your courageous deeds. For in all your loving, in all your grace, in all of your faith, you are still here. And so, as you reconsider the past month and your journey since our last Lightworker broadcast, be at peace with your endeavors that are all light-filled. For we remind you that you stand in a unique portal of a major cosmic reveal where the light pours forth like no other time portal. Yet at the same time, your global community, meaning the evolving mind-body-spirit community, is becoming obsessed with timelines, emergent prophecies, and the labored engagement of spiritual progress. And so we need to remind you that these notions are all constructs from the old paradigm. They are fixations upon linear time, which does not exist in the new paradigm, within the fourth, fifth, higher dimensional consciousness. And so please, we request of you that you literally listen not to the potentates or preachers, but to the smallest flower growing from the crack in your heart, the brightest star shining from the pith of your being, the gentlest song radiating from the essence of your soul. And when you truly listen into the stillness you will hear a sacred song moving across the breadth of the oceans, soaring within the bustling wind, flowing within the cosmic breath. And in the stillness, you will hear the song of the angels, full of adoration and freedom, connecting all beings, all islands, all planets, all stars, all universes. For this sacred moment touches all, moves all, in one sublime caress, of the sweetest heavenly kiss. Remember, past, present, and future coexist in the holy instant, in the eternality of now. And this is why your great poet visionary William Blake wrote, hold infinity in the palm of your hand and eternity in an hour. Holding the expectation of when things should happen literally robs you of your infinite potential. It blunts your desire. It dulls the ardor of what true manifestation is. Can you see this? Can you hear this? Can you feel this? The only quanta or fractal where your true power lies is right now. This is when the authentic nature of divine flow enraptures the moment with miraculous outpouring, which is, in itself, a spiraling of different desires and feelings from a superposition in the cosmos that has brought you to this happening. Can you remember when glory entered your life and you felt its effortlessness, even in the grandeur of the manifestation? You felt an absolute knowing of its purpose, as though it had always been. This is the love of the Mother Father God pouring through you. Therefore, reflect on that notion that 2024 isn't special because it's booked into a time frame that was forged within the expansion and contraction of your universal planet's movement. Rather, it is a suspension of past, present, and future into one, in which the all-oneness of divine providence lives, and so presents a portal of choice for you when the illusion of timelines is released. 
2024 welcomes you to go deep, and then much deeper still, so that the true and full spectrum of yourself may be liberated and expressed. This does not happen by holding oneself in the void of a false spiritual narrative or wrapping oneself in toxic spirituality, constantly placing a smile on one's face, which is really a disguise of the grimace of uncertainty, or by creating stories just to make oneself feel good. These behaviors are the surface ego keeping you in the loop of polarity whilst the denial and loss within the shadow complex simply festers. Pushing the shadow down into your body or subterranean parts of you means that the grosser feelings of shame, regret, denial, anger, self-pity, sentimentality, fear, etc. simply fester. And this will lead you to grave physical, emotional and spiritual dis-ease, until, that is, the trauma fracture that created the lack of truth is exercised and exorcised through your own emotional autopsy. Archangel Michael and Metatron are communicating to you specifically. Trauma is born of loss, the loss of safety, the loss of security, the loss of personal power. Then your organic response is to grieve in this loss. Yet grief can easily turn to anger. And lamentably, many of you are not free with this flow of fiery passion. So, you suppress its force within, placing it in the cauldron of other pains of deep, deep woe, where the horror of revenge festers, and in simplicity, this is how covert enmity wounds the world. 2024 beseeches you to give yourself an emotional autopsy, and this doesn't need to be achieved alone, for Archangel Michael is stepping forward with the laser of truth, cutting through the toxic ribbons of painful attachment, placing all emotional debris of your personal and ancestral karma into the violet flame. And this is why Michael vibrates within and without the violet ray. Michael works with the ascended master, Saint Germain, who appears before you as the cosmic Christ. Please accept this and utilize supportive allies like meditation, the angels, counseling, energy healing, therapy, crying, expressing the pain through painting, writing, singing, dancing, communing with significant others and with nature. For once you have identified the wound and alchemicalized it, you are free. Then the latent power conscripted within the false narrative of contraction, all that was pushed down into woe, grief, hatred, anguish, or addiction will then transform and transmute itself into utter purity, the purity of your soul's force. And this will release far more light, exercising an exponential increase of God force throughout your entire being and, of course, in your life journey. This will magnetize magic and miracles to you. And please remember that when we angels speak to you with a prediction or a point of knowing and locate it within a time frame, we exist beyond the constraints of linear time. And so we are inspiring you to be within your own choosing, to make your own choice, to reach for the stars as you excel in the choice you make. For we do not wish you to be rigidified by dates or times. Robert Browning, one of your great poets, said, Ah, but a man's grasp must exceed his reach, or what's a heaven for? So again, please remember 
as you move through these shifts of consciousness, please ground your being on a daily basis, perceiving all these spiritual permutations as discernibly as you can. And please do not give your power away to false prophets. Rather, measure your feelings and thoughts through the filter of your heart in the warm embrace of your soul, using your intuition and your higher self to truly ascertain the truth. This is based on your feelings. Feeling is the language of the soul. And we urge you to find this inner compass of discernment. And this will check anything in association with judgment. You will re-perceive with all your senses. For we have every confidence in your ability to see that you are in discernment co-creating with the universe. And remembering that you are powerful beyond measure and incarnated in this form to develop governance and dominion over all earthly forms, through love, through joy, through faith. True growth of authentic experience arises from being present, from being consciously alive within the fullness of your sentience, feeling, living, breathing, pulsing in each holy instant and not living for the outcome or the controlling of the journey by living life through ticking the boxes, the boxes that someone else has prescribed you so that it becomes a false checklist. Rather, instead, create each moment as an unfolding of your spirit, as an unmasking of your magic, revealing your essence, expressing the very pith of who you are in the rawness and the beauty of your life experience. And again we say, remember, when you hold life too tightly, the universe and divine force feels this immediately in the holy instant and therefore will shake up your life in order to place you in the direction of a much, much richer learning, a learning for your soul. This is not punishment. This is not a scorning of you. This is an evolutionary wand of immense magic. And so take this, take this to heart, take this to the depth of your soul. And then, remember how the lamentable death of a significant relationship or job moved you to tears, and therefore you recalibrated your whole existence and gave you much, much more richness than you first ever perceived. This is the bounty of divine providence. This is what we would like you to live your entire existence feeling. This is what the essence of creativity evolves so that the definition of your soul's journey shapes you anew in each pulse and ceases just reflecting the disaster story that preceded the birth of your wisdom. Please learn to laugh with cosmic humor and allow fun-loving freedom to become your watchwords. Thrill in the wisdom of uncertainty, languish in the pulse of the unknown, Feel the universe blowing you in a direction that yields freedom and joy and genius and love. This will allow you to trust each detour, to dismantle the shining spiritual apparatus that life is simply to be a bliss station, a bliss station for perpetuity. You are waving as a fractal of light, moving through the sequences of your constant desire the desire of the purity to feel love. So please dismantle your constructs, your constrictions that seemingly create safety within your ego and your attitude of false glamour about a spiritual teacher so that you simply see that you are held in the coziness of an illusion. Instead, be aware being spiritual is not a popularity contest. It is a journey of enlightenment that brings forth a fierce wisdom to move through the wilderness of the ego, to conjure the demons into angels, 
and so to create the purity of your own genius full of wonder and awe whilst you view the bounty of your creations. This cosmic reality of your year 2024 means that you must become honest and ward against spiritual pride, ward against being entangled within your thirst for spiritual awareness for the next piece of information. Your ego is young in the unfolding of cosmology and we see an insidious holding developing in some of you which arises from a holier-than-thou attitude. This you will scotch. True teachers evolve autonomy in each of us, not dependency upon a thought form or a mantra or a practice or a gestalt. There is no one way except through love. And this is why the volatile and revelatory landscape of 2024 brings you one assailable truth, a saving grace of such potency and a reminder of you. You are your own guru. And so beware of the possible dangers that could rob you of your inner knowing. And here are a few suggestions. Number one, outsourcing to powerful teachers. Do not suspend your own discernment, your own knowing, by being caught in the wave of a teacher's inspiration or power. Your skepticism can be a healthy sounding device, a device within you to measure the force and all of its priorities. Number two, Prediction addiction. Addiction is the denial of personal ecstasy and therefore cease giving your power to fleeting external features and instead cultivate belief, faith and trust in your own connectivity with source force. Number three, following trends. Tune into your heart rather than blindly copying viral influences and seemingly effective techniques. Number four, fixation on what's missing. This will occlude the blessings before you, which can be simple, grace-filled, and are the flow that exists in the abundance of the cosmos. These truths will literally bring you to and through 2024, engaging you in a truth surge of profound proportion. And so you will become part of the path of wholeness when all your feelings, responses and constrictions and values will all be examined and interrogated by you and then brought into the wisdom and the acknowledgement of your heart as it is weighed against the purity of the feather by the Goddess of Truth. The lasting peace you seek is founded on the bedrock of unerring compassion for your soul, for your brothers and sisters' soul, for the movements of the earth herself and all cosmic splendor. And as always, we send you compassionate love and joy through grace. And if you can, click subscribe and share these teachings that pour through our emissary, knowing that whatever word or phrase is used, it arises from the deep, deep within the Logos. And this will radiate the magic of internal love to you, to you, and to you. And so we leave you in this time frame. But remember, we are with you in ubiquity. So please send your questions to our emissary for the next recording of Ask the Angels, which happens every month. And watch the full moon before you on February the 25th and enchantment which will be this wonderful bringing together of hundreds of people in a network of grace, your family of soul kindred spirits, so that there will be a promise of star beings speaking to you from Orion and Sirius to help dispel any of the difficulties or illusions 
and as usual we send you and leave with our fondest love. Namaste, namaste, namaste.